Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and I am in the camphor. Uh, I am also on the quote-unquote new deserted city map. It is a, a uh, return from Battle Operation 1. And I am so out of practice with running this map, it took me a chunk of last night and all morning to, actually all day, to get a half-decent round in, this, uh, in the camphor. Partly because everybody was running campers together, part, uh, and they're kind of fragile. Partly because uh, this map is kind of uh, difficult to play compared to some of the Battle Operation 2 maps. Uh, I, I don't mind this map, but they really have improved their, their level design in the intervening years. But, yeah, this is pretty good. You may notice that I'm doing a lot of, uh, you know, multi-directional boosting that is because the camphor, of course, has forced injection, but unlike the first game where it had the first level of it and, like, one sideways boost would redline you, it has forced injection level 2. So that means you can actually get off a couple of consecutive, uh, uh, consecutive boosts without destroying yourself. So, just waiting for a good shot, and I got it, and that guy is dead. And now there's somebody behind me knocking me down and killing me. I got no legs, that's kind of a thing. Didn't know there was a pixie here until just now. Um, but yeah, so all camphor rooms, the camphor is, as you can see, kind of fragile. Does not have a lot of leg HP, so it is relatively killable. So it's not as... it it's a general type, so it's a little bit better at this than the G3 in my opinion, but it's still not anything you want to uh, use for a frontal assault. Managed to tag that Alex, but not quite kill it. I was hoping my shotgun would recharge before he got back around the corner. It did not, but there was nothing else I could really do. I maybe could have gotten to my feet and try to, or to my knees and try to counter tackle, but that's that's about it. So yeah, here's the aerial view of the map. The Type 61 tanks that were always sitting here are back. So if you missed those, good news. Um, and yeah, it's. Again, I had a hard time getting a, a good round on this because just it's chaos here. This is, a, is actually much better suited to a four-person team than a six-person team, in my opinion. The four-person team is the four-person team is enough that uh, it doesn't get to overcrowded and chaotic most of the time. But I came back around that corner because I saw that the entire enemy team was there, uh, was coming up on me, and everyone else was dead. So. Unfortunately, I did not... Yeah, you probably saw that, you know, hint of pixie on my uh, radar just now, which I did not until it was too late, so... That was a short life. As it is, though, I've definitely done worse. In the camper, I've, do I've done far worse in, in a short period of time. Looks like the pixie just got killed, I think. Looks like a couple of things just got killed. I think an airstrike got them, so works for me. We're only 400 points behind. That is not bad at this point. I, again... Oh, so many bad rounds so far. Again, just chaos on the hoof. The Alex... The Alex is, uh, is pretty good against the camphor, as you might uh, as you might believe. Basically, the camphor can do tremendous damage, and if it gets shot a couple of times, it is dead. So, like I said, run it like a raid. And run it like a fast raid, because, yeah, with the, with the forced injection, you can be all over the map. Uh, the, the double Sturm Fausts have the habit of the pleasant quality of they do not they do not reload quickly, but what they do is ready up very quickly. You can have them ready to fire in about a second. So, that's... that uh, When they're ready, they're, there's, uh, they're pretty useful. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of stammery. It's been a weird long day. But, uh... Okay, just waiting. Yeah, he tried to tackle me. I got out of the way of the tackle. Sturmfaust. Only hit with one of them. And... But he had used his tackle, so I have some uh, opportunities to do some damage. Camphor has, like, a native uh, shooting and melee mod, each of 30. So, plus 30% damage over the base. It's pretty good. Now I'm coming back up because I saw that one teammate uh, get surrounded. And I'm just waiting for a good opportunity to, uh, to strike, but I don't think I'm going to be able to save them. Got two bazooka rounds left. Managed to get that guy. Dodge rolled out of the way so he couldn't follow up. 
This Zaku is a little bit uh, quick on the draw with tackles, which works to my benefit. And let's see, airstrike separating the, uh, that part of the enemy team from us, but I'm pretty sure I saw a signal from over here. So one of our people is taking C, and yeah, there's a pixie over there attacking him. If I can tag it, I can probably kill it. It's just a matter of what can I do and when. So, oh yeah, that's right. I get the pixie. Yeah, caught it with the uh, shotgun, caught it with the bazookas, caught it with the Sturmfaust, and that was enough. So, here I make a mistake, because I don't see until just as I'm kneeling and getting ready to uh, get out of the mobile suit that they are about to come around the corner. I try to get back in, but apparently they hit me even though I'm just sitting here lagging while the game decides what to do with me. Because, yeah, I, I just sat there and then died. I think probably they destroyed my camphor while I was trying to get in it. I think that's the deal. There's certainly a big cloud of smoke around C either way, so... I'm going to be out of action for a few moments. Uh, it has a 15 second respawn that's not too bad. It would... And, oh yeah, they also have changed it so that you cannot send any tells, or at least any, you know, tactical tells like close formation while you are, uh, uh, while you are dead and respawning. So, that doesn't work anymore. I sent close formation because it's a moderately close round, so if we can, if we can bunch up the way they're bunched up and do some damage, we've got a chance. If we can't, we've got a problem is what we've got. But that Alex is now defenseless against my uh, tackle. Or saber, rather. Words. Words are not good today. But, yeah. So, it's all... It's the, Basically, the trick of the camphor, in my opinion, is wait until someone has overcommitted. Whether it be to attack, to boost, to whatever. But just wait for a really good opening and then unload on them. But before that you need to be patient and, you know, poke at things and get well out of the way. Okay, that Zaku's dead. We've got a minor lead, enough of one if we can hold it for the next 40 seconds, so... But yeah, it is fast. I think I put the speed boost part on it. I tried a couple of different equipment loadouts. I think this last one is when I finally did put more defense on it, because it has, like, a decent uh, melee defense mod. Uh, I think it's... 20 something, but for, I managed to get a good shot in on that pixie, but for for ranged, uh, ranged ballistic and ranged uh, beam words, dang the words today it has, uh, it has six in each, so don't expect a lot. I just started swinging blindly and tackling blindly because there were like two seconds left and I wanted to try and defend the people on the ground if I could as it is we got it. It was not a bad round. I think I can do better, but it's going to take more practice, and it's going to take, I think, the novelty of the Alex and Camper to wear off a little bit so there's not a zillion of them in each room, because that just makes chaos. But yeah, that's our first look at the Camper, and that is it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!